you want to know what it's really like for me. I have woken up every morning for the last nine mornings with excruciating pain in my head. And it feels like somebody hit me over the head with a sledgehammer. And then I try to get up and my neck is in excruciating pain. And it feels like somebody took that sledgehammer and hit me in the head. And then hit me in the back of the neck. When I wake up like this day after day, trying to figure out every day what the cause was this time, I drank a lot of water, I ate the right foods, I took a drive in my convertible to get a little fresh air, I cleaned my car out, I try to cheer everybody else up on my social media. Nobody, not many people know what I really suffer with and I try to go out dancing and ride my motorcycle and um, travel the country. But when you wake up day after day, sometimes month after month, in excruciating pain, yesterday I cried and had a total breakdown and said that it's very difficult for me to have a relationship. It's no, it's hard for anybody to understand what I deal with. They see me as pretty and put together and successful and smiling and always trying to be inspirational and cheer everybody else up. When I'm living a life of pure hell, I've had these since I was four years old and it's just debilitating. I get 36 injections of Botox every three months. I've been doing that for about nine years now. And it's hard for me to live with anybody. I can't stand noise. I can't stand light. I can't be stressed. Um, if I, I try not to eat bread, basically my diet should only be vegetables, meat, and fruit. And drinking, you know, gallons of water a day. Um, I've become a recluse at times. I don't want to talk to anybody or see anybody. Nobody believes that about me because I have thousands and thousands of followers around the country. Um, but I thought that if I woke up like this and I could share with you, uh, what a migraine really is that if you know somebody, you love somebody that suffers with these. Um, I suffer in silence most of the time. I don't tell many people what I suffer with, but I look terrible. I feel terrible. My head is off the charts in pain. My neck is in pain. Um, sometimes I just think it would be better for me if I just wasn't here anymore. It's very, very difficult to live with this. Um, I give myself a shot of Amovig every month for the last five months. I've taken these shots. Um, I've tried everything, hundreds of medications. I've had surgeries and um, you can see I have this shadow on my video because I haven't even had time to call or talk to anybody at Verizon. Um, the little everyday tasks are hard for nine days now. I spent Christmas by myself on my couch. Um, I was invited to a party. I didn't want to go. Um, I've been extremely lonely. And uh, when I'm in relationship, it's very, very difficult. So people ask me, why did I move all the way out of state? I needed to get away. Um, I feel like I'm a burden to the close ones that I love, to my children, my family, and my friends at times. And I know you don't believe this about me. Um, I run a national company. I'm the CEO of Hero Some Advantage. I travel the country in my 24-foot RV with my dog. I uh, meet heroes all over the country. I meet my partners all over the country. I'm starting this new venture with... Um, 
um, going to organizations that help our veterans with PTSD and anxiety and homelessness and drug and alcohol related issues. And so I pull myself together when I have to, but I suffer with anxiety and depression because I went to bed last night thinking, okay, I don't have a headache. So I'm going to wake up this morning with no migraine. And I woke up this morning with yet another migraine, nine days worth of migraines. Um, I don't want to eat. All I want to do is lay around. I don't want to work. Um, I don't want to go out. And, uh, makes me cry. I try so hard not to cry. Um, but just not knowing how you're going to feel day after day really sucks. Um, I'm sharing with you, I don't care what I look like. <laughs> I got no makeup on. Um, when you see pictures of me when I'm, you know, done up and everything, it's, uh, people just don't understand. It's just debilitating. So I'm sharing this with you today that maybe you could understand a little more if you have a loved one that suffers with migraines especially, but any type of chronic pain on a daily basis and suffering with it their entire life, like me, or, or even a new um, illness that they just got that causes them chronic pain, or, you know, even a... a terrible disease. It just, I'm just trying to let people know that, um, especially migraines are just debilitating. And I want to be an inspiration because you see me out there. I've traveled over 25,000 miles. I have hundreds of realtors and loan officers, part of my program. I talk to most of them throughout the day. Um, I'm successful. So my words of inspiration are, if you have a passion, um, my passion for our heroes and my company and my loved ones and God, um, I should say this, God first and foremost. I love the Lord and um, I believe that I have been ill my life to inspire others and um, that they can... Um, for me, it was my love of God and my children, my loved ones, and my my business. Um, loving America's heroes, and, and it's my way of paying it forward, um, keeps me going. If I didn't have those things in my life, um, years ago, uh, all I can say is um, I was just told by somebody very special that I'm strong and I inspire him and um, he said some really wonderful words he's trying to understand what I suffer with but because you look good and you smile and you try to cheer others um, occasionally I will take the time this is the first video I've actually done like this where you can actually see me uh, uh, as soon as I got out of bed and uh, I'm just trying to raise awareness um, that this is completely disabling and um, I'm drinking two cups of coffee this morning I've got to take some Advil and um, I my neck is killing me so but I leave next week to travel to start my travel for 2019 around the country and I will do it and it's uh, just my passion to reach out and share with others and it takes my mind off of what I suffer with so I'm I've been debating whether to make this public or not or just share it with my loved ones but um, you know even my loved ones have a hard time understanding because um, they don't see me like this every day. I don't let anybody see me like this every day. I just try to suck it up. So if I can inspire just one person to get up and get out of bed, no matter what pain you're in, and just do something, find your passion and reach your goals. Try to reach some goals. Do one thing at a time. Okay. I hope this helped. Migraines suck. 
but you can still live. God bless.